Olá pessoal, nós estamos aqui em São Paulo para participar da Premiere de lançamento da terceira temporada de The Chosen, uma série que fala sobre a vida de Jesus e seus seguidores e que conquistou também as telas de cinema. E o Portal A12 conseguiu uma entrevista exclusiva com Amanda Jenks, que produz conteúdos extras da série. Olá, tudo bem? Primeiro eu queria começar perguntando para você uma pergunta que acho que todo mundo tem interesse em saber. Como é para você trabalhar com seu marido, dividir o tempo em casa e também um projeto tão grandioso como esse? Well, I will tell you, we will never do things like paint a wall together or fix something in the house because we don't do that well. Um, but we do the chosen really well. I think we complement each other. Uh, he lets me be very opinionated about all kinds of things and listens graciously and um, I love watching him work. I mean going and seeing um, just the command that he has of his set and the way that his actors respond to him. Um, it's just been a, it's been a joy since we can't paint a wall together. It's been um, it's been great. Você como esposa e mãe também, né? Como é organizar filhos, rotina e, claro, o seu processo criativo com o seu trabalho, toda essa dedicação que você precisa ter com o seu trabalho. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. I I think I couldn't have done it when my kids were younger. I think um, it's it's worked because I've got older um, kids, older teenagers and young adults. So they're at school and I can work while they're at school. And then when they get home, I am all mom because to me that's That's been the greatest job of my life is being a mom. E como é para você, né, trabalhar para vocês trabalhar esse processo extra série, que além da, da série tem também esses conteúdos extras, como o livro o devocional, né? Como foi esse processo de criação e incentivar também as pessoas a realizarem esse momento de devocional e estudo bíblico em casa. Yeah, um, the screen is Dallas's domain. Um, I weigh in, but that's his world, and I don't even need to be there much. I get to be there because it's close to our house, but I don't have to be there. Um, the writing came because in between uh, seasons, people were really hungry for more chosen stuff. And our passion is truly that the show points people back to scripture. Uh, that's the whole point of the whole thing for us. And so we wanted to give our fans the Bible in between, just more of the Bible. And, and what we're hearing is that the show is doing that in a number of different ways, is point, pointing people back to scripture. So that was our real passion, and I was already a writer, and so it just, it merged and it just made sense. É claro que a série fala da vida de Jesus e ele por si só é nossa inspiração, mas tem algo a mais que te inspira a fazer isso? Alguma passagem bíblica também? I mean, I think the thing I love the most is just the authenticity of the followers. I think we can get so discouraged sometimes with our own failings and struggles, but I think the show brings to life uh, how just real and human his followers were and how they failed and they didn't understand things over and over and how patient Jesus was with them and then um, how they became real heroes of the, of the faith that we admire, but that they were just so real. I, I'm very both encouraged and inspired um, by the followers that we're portraying. Eu perguntei isso para o Dallas também e eu queria saber de você. Você acha que é, todo mundo recebe um dom de Deus ser jornalista, ser cineasta, escritora? Você acha que esse é um dom que Deus te deu para conseguir trabalhar o devocional com as pessoas, trabalhar também, é de alguma forma levar o evangelho até as pessoas? Yeah, I mean, I think um, I want to be really careful with it, but I, I really do when I when I spend the time with the Lord and and wait to hear him I really do hear from the Lord so um, that's been a really sweet part of the chosen story is that there's been a number of these um, times when God has um, kind of given me a heads up about something that has shaped the um, trajectory of the show and how we've um, per, uh, you know walked it And I think God's just really kind to um, when we when we do show up and we do listen. He does um, he does direct whether it's journalism or whether it's writing or for Dallas um, the the directing and kind of casting the vision for this for the story. So um, yeah, I mean I, I I hear from the Lord and I write it down. <laughs>